trouble for United Airlines involving another family pet, a criminal investigator after, of course, you remember that tragedy with the dog placed in the overhead bin. Well, now a 10-year-old German shepherd that was supposed to make that quick trip from Oregon to Kansas instead ended up all the way in Japan. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with more on this and hopefully the explanation. What happened, Lindsay? Yeah, crazy one here. Good morning to you, Cecilia. United has now issued two apologies in recent days for canine catastrophes, one that ended up dying. And now one U.S. senator is pressing for answers from the airline about the care of animals on its flights. This would be our worst nightmare. New woes for United Airlines this morning after it mistakenly put this Kansas-bound dog named Ergo on a 12-hour flight to Japan. I know he's going through hell right now because he's obviously not used to this. Kara Swindle was with her family flying from Oregon to Kansas City, her 10-year-old pup flying along in cargo. But when she went to pick up her German Shepherd, she was met instead with a Great Dane. And the minute I said, ergo, up popped this great big Great Dane instead of my German Shepherd. I was in instant tears. According to the airline, the mix-up occurred during a connection in Denver, where the two dogs were accidentally placed in the wrong carriers after being walked. United sent these pictures of Ergo arriving in Japan. United tells ABC News they apologize for this mistake and are investigating the mishap. But United's apology comes after the tragic death of this puppy, Coquito, on a flight from Houston to New York on Monday. She took him out and opened the thing and then she got the dog and he was dead. <laughs> Coquito died after the family says a flight attendant demanded that they stow him inside the overhead compartment for the duration of the three hour flight. And we're like, it's a dog, it's a dog. And she's like, it doesn't matter. You still have to put it up there. United tells ABC News their flight attendant did not hear or understand there was a dog in the bag and did not knowingly place the dog in the overhead bin. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, in 2017, there were 24 deaths reported of animals transported by air. Three quarters of those deaths occurred on United Airlines. Next month, United plans to start issuing bright colored bag tags to customers traveling with pets inside the cabin so that attendants know right away there's an animal inside that bag. Meanwhile, 13,000 miles later, Ergo is flying back with an attendant in first class, no less, and he's expected to be reunited with his family later on tonight. As for Coquito's family, United says they have refunded them for their plane tickets and the pet fee. It's unclear if there are plans for additional compensation. You have to I, imagine. It's just crazy. <laughs> I wonder if her goes the... like, they said it was going to be a quick flight. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, it's first class. I'm just imagining a glass of champagne up in first class. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the, that is the least they could do. Lots All right, of thank biscuits. you so much, Lizzie.